Hi guys, and welcome back to the Pokemon Avatar Challenge. We're back, and of course, last time we got a Misty, we beat Misty, we beat her quite easily. Let's be honest. Let's just see how the team's doing as always, have a little update. Bloom doing well. Bloom, like, as I've said before, suddenly got straight up to what it was level, which is great. Naruna's doing great. Zubat may eventually have to be leveled, or I might just have to fly. Another thing I've looked into, um... It turns out that Nidorino actually doesn't learn any good moves, so it's probably actually best to turn him into a new king now, because at least then he'll learn Thrash. And then I'll just have to probably teach him, um, moves via TM. Is the plan, so yeah, it's time to evolve Nidorino, it's time you became what you need to be. Nidorino is evolving. Dun, 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 dun. And then finally we can have a true powerhouse on the team. Because, of course, Nidor King is the attack based one and Nidor Queen is the defense based one. There we go, Nidor King. Of course, we are still sticking to the Avatar rules, meaning I can only use water, grass, ice, and poison Pokemon. And I believe the Nidor King still fits that bill. I think he doesn't. Yeah, he's poison ground, so he's fine. We can still use him. Good. Shame his moves are terrible, but that's fine. Um. I think there's really only much else to say about my Pokemon. I mean, let's go. Right, so the objective today is to get on the SSN and maybe do so. It's probably just going to focus on getting to the SSN and doing the SSN. Otherwise, the episode will get a bit too long winded. Just heal up quickly. And, well, Gloom took a bit of damage, so it's worth doing. Actually, you got one at the front. That's a good question. I'll have a water at the front, and then I'll just switch between for like the best matchup. Let's say Zubat will stay where it is, because I don't really need Zubat right now. I might need to, it to learn to fly, but I think there's a Zubat I can still learn to fly anyway. Right, I'm pretty sure I go through and I get Dig, I think? I'm just trying to do something. Team Rocket and all that. Yeah, I can see they've done your, for your house. I'm surprised Dig cost you a bundle. Dig's not a very good TM, but alright. Yeah, you're an instant bystander wearing a Team Rocket outfit. Somehow, I don't believe you. Oh, well, this is an easy fight. Water Pulse! One other good thing that came out of Misty, of course, is we've got Water Pulse for Water Pulse. So Water Pulse actually has a decent water move. It's a good thing. Mega Punch! Finish it. Nailed it. Right, what's the level? That's good. Drowsy. I don't think I have anything particularly good to fight against him. I'll throw Nidor King because I think Nidor King's got an okay matchup. And also, I want to get Nidor King some levels as well, of course. Test Poison Sting. Really need to get Poison Jab when I can. Okay, that's actually quite a lot. Nidor King is officially strong, which is good. Wow, that was super effective. That touched how bulky Nidor King was. Double kicky. Okay, that's pretty still poison sting. I didn't do much at all. My headbutt won't do much. Doing, you know, ground type and all that. Poison sting. Oh no, not disable. You know the fact that you're about to die to poison. Yeah, there we go. We need a king level, hooray! But yeah, I think he learns Thrash at 25, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we'll find out. Yay! Got Dig. I might teach Dig to a Nidic king. It's probably the only thing I'm ever going to have, but we'll use it. And it wouldn't be too bad, an idea. Right. Let's keep going. Keep forgetting to run. I almost ran off there. Right, yeah, we don't go to the right yet. We go to the right a lot later. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else decent to catch here, because I know Mankeys spawn a lot there, and I can't use Mankey, so I will ignore it. Yeah, this is the one that gets us to a million, I thought so. What do you want, child? Turn it around, Mel. Yeah, I had one before it became an inner king, lol. 
idiot. I mean, by the point you get here, you, there's no way you're gonna have a Niram now unless you're not bothering the trainer. I don't know why you wouldn't bother the trainer. Yeah, I just can't be asked to look for those items missed, so I'm not going to. Let's just see what's in the grass quickly. Ooh, a double. That'd be interesting. I think it'll be water and gloom. Oh no, it's a Pidgey! Let me just check my theories. Water all gloom? Yeah, water all gloom is the double fight. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, they're not double fight, are they? I don't think they are. They might. I know in the original red they weren't, but maybe they've been updated. Nope, they're still singular fights. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. See, I don't get this in, um. Like, NPC fights in Pokemon. It makes no sense. It's like. Clearly, if you've got a scroll level 20, you would have evolved it. Why wouldn't you have evolved it? That's just dumb. I mean, I guess if you think he's cute, but cuteness is nothing in the world of Pokemon, you must be strong. As you saw there. Right, it's Ricky down. Also, hopefully, once we get to sell it on, I can get a leaf stone, and then evolve Bloom into a Vile Plume, which would be good. Rattata. I'll leave Water out for the moment. Mega Pooch. Alright, I did quite a lot. Uh, Pikachu, yeah, I'm switching. Best of is actually Nidoking King because he's ground, so electrical moves don't do anything. Which is actually. Mm, I probably want to focus on leveling Water and Gloom before this because Nidoking King is probably just going to be the one who beats Surge. And there goes Pikachu. As you saw, all you could do, all you could do was quick attack. It's fine. All right. I'm assuming you just have both Pokemon. So that's fine. Water we can level against you. Don't want to gloom out against bugs because, of course, bug is good against grass. So yeah, again, this Weedle should be a Beedrill. What are you doing? Ow, oh, easy experience, I guess. And that's you dead. I said, I'm just gonna leave Water Wing because there's no point switching to Bloom in case someone does actually have a bug move, which I don't think they will. I think his end one's a Butterfree though, so that could be a bit of a tricky fight, but it should be alright. They're only level 16. Okay, no, you just have Wheels and mm, Caterpies, alright. I don't even know how he got this far. <laughs> Surely the Team Rocket Guy would have fought him, and the Team Rocket Guy should win because he's got better Pokemon than this guy. I mean, if this guy had evolved them all, they'd probably be alright. You know? A Butterfree and two Beedrill, you'd do alright. What advice, bro? Evolve your Pokemon, dude. That's a bug, er. Damn it. You're meant to let me fight with my gloom. But yeah, I guess it's a good experience with Portal. There we go, there's the Butterfree I remember. I remember the Butterfree being on this route, but I couldn't remember where. Guess Water Pulse, see how much it does, because it might confuse it, I guess. Oh, wow, it actually worked. Hooray! Probably good for Mega Budget next, I think. Ah, you hit yourself. Mega Pooze! Oh, I didn't do much at all. Water, you're letting me down. Although, luckily, this buffery is just hitting itself repeatedly, so it's fine. Then I quick fight to finish it off. And there we go. Well, that's quite a lot of experience, actually. I think that was more than what the Weedles and the Cappy gave me. That's kind of awesome. Right, as you've dealt with. Ooh, what looks to be a last. Last generally after normal Pokemon, so Gloom might be able to do something. Just Gloom, or as I said before, the Pokemon that looks like it has a severe disease and probably should be receiving medical attention right now. Oh god damn it's Pidgey. Yeah, no, you are useless at this fight. Back to War Total. Yeah, I did only find a good ground move for Nidoking. King. Or a decent rock move. Actually I think I've rocked him, I could probably teach it that. And that would work quite nicely against the electric types of uh, Surge's gym. 
You did. Please tell me you don't just have more Pidgeys. You do have more Pidgeys. Right, Water was going to have to fight them all again. Will Gloom ever get to do some of its own fights other than, of course, the Swim Gym, which it already did? Bye, Pidgey. I think all the. Uh, these all, all these Pidgeys are 18, right? Okay, there's a lot. Ugh. So, uh, it's quite early. <laughs> I'm recording this episode very early. Well, early for me, anyway. Which isn't my fault. 10 a.m. is early to me. Get it over. Right. Next fight. Please tell me you don't have a fuck ton of Pidgeys as well. Oh god, he's got Spearows. Even worse. Although I'm definitely sure that leaving Gloom in the front is the best option. Because when we stop facing these flying bastards, then we can get some experience. That'd be good. Right, that's Spiro dealt with. Radicate, I'm just going to leave Water in. Because Radicate, as I've seen before in this thing, can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. Oh, good. Confused again. Awesome. War Pulse is doing the work. Much better than Water Gun, definitely. And with that man help, I'll probably just go for a bite. I don't want to use a Mega Punch PP on it. There we go. Ignoring the fact that I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center in a second, because some of my dudes need healing, but anyway. Right, which was level 44? I mean, 44? What the fuck am I talking about? 24. Right, we go for a million. Uh, can we fight the gym? No, 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 we can't fight the gym because we have to get cut from the guy on the s -San, I remember now. Bing, 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 bing. There's also some grass to the right, but I'll probably save that for training later. Although I might check it out now just to see if there's anything good to catch. Oh, God, save away, isn't it? I mucked that up. There's also the... The uh, bike ticket I can get here as well, but I'll do that all after the SSN. Let's have a quick gander. There might be something decent in this grass. You never know. I have to spear out. I know I'd like to see, and I'm pretty sure they do spawn here. I'd love to see an Ekans, because I'd really like an Arbok. Arbok is one of those kind of old school Pokemon that I was always a fan of. Because it just looks badass. There we go, there's an Ekans. Level 14, but it could work. I could easily catch it. For an Arbok, I mean, I'm have to switch, but I think Nidoking's King's probably the best option. Because Nidoking's, I mean, yeah, Nidoking's King's bulky, but he can always hit with poison, so he doesn't die. And then I have a poison ground, another standard poison, which would be nice. And as I say, I've always liked Arbok. He's not in my top, you know, favorite Pokemon, but he's he's always looked cool. Arbok's always been a cool looking Pokemon. No, well, at least I know Nidoking can't kill Ekans with Poison Sting, so I'll just keep using that until Ekans gets weak. I mean, of course, there is the issue of better poison types turning up, like, uh, for example, Venonat. Venonat to Venomoth is a better poison type than Arbok, ideally, but I'm not going to see Venonat and Venomoth until the Safari Zone, which is a while away. Well, in this, this round, I'm going to turn to Koga, and there's poison types on my team. I'm cool with that, because a lot of poison types do look badass, to be fair. I mean, look at Nidoking. He's always looked badass. And, you know, Venusaur, I believe, is poison grass. And he looks pretty damn tanky awesome. Yeah, tanky awesome. New word. This is going to take forever. But it was a necessary thing, as I say. Because I didn't want to kill the Akans, I want to catch it. Poison... Right, there we go, he's in red. Right, now is the time. Well, I haven't actually been buying Pokeballs, so I don't know how many I have. I think I should have a fair few, though. I hope. Probably should have checked this before going into the fight. Okay, I've got five Pokeballs, that should be fine. I don't think it'll take five to try and catch this guy. And I'm not planning to catch anything else anytime soon, so... There we go, using a down as the usual standard. And we caught an Eke. There, correctly. It's awesome, because as I say, Arbok are a very cool Pokemon. Right, I'll s we'll do your leveling later. Actually, first is I might focus on leveling SSN. SSN. I think I'll focus on leveling Gloom and Ekans, I think. 
Right, well, don't mind. I'm gonna go heal first because Ekans has no health right now. Ah, uh -uh, I can't get through the door. I don't think was high level. The guys on Esther's hand or the guys in that corner area? No idea. I'm gonna go to the Esther's hand first anyway. See how many good dudes we can fight on there. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of them on there have water types, so Bloom should be able to, like, level and therefore Ekans as well because he's, of course, always going to be gaining experience some of the switch him out and all that stuff. Right, also I'm gonna quickly go talk to this guy just to get the bike thing. So why the hell not? Yes, you, you, I know you like Rapid Ash and it's lovely. Blah, blah, blah. Just give me the freaking ticket. Come on. Thank you. There we go. There's the bike rider I needed. Right, there we go. That's good because we'll need that later when we have to head back to get to... I think it's Sedlon? I think we have to go that way to get Sedlon. I have no idea. can't remember. I can remember bits of red, but not, like, all of it, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm, go I'm going on the Luxury Cruise Line. Let me on. This, this reminds me of what was probably one of the saddest moments of my childhood, which is, uh, if you guys can remember it, the Pokemon episode where Ash and the gang were on SSN, and including, of course, Jesse and James, and, like, they, well, it capsized, and they were, like, trapped, and they were trying to get out. Also, nice little nod to the fact that my character doesn't talk. Anyway, bad of a point. And they were trapped on the SSN, and the episode just ended on a cliffhanger of just, will they make it out alive? They might not. I mean, obviously part of you as a kid thought, oh yeah, they'll make it out, they're heroes. But still, it was like, oh my god, they might not make it out alive. That's crazy. See, oh, there we go. Ekans looks great, quite frankly. I'm going to switch to water, although, because of course, fire time. But yeah, and that was, that was crazy. Although, to be fair, as much as that episode was emotional, the cliffhanger... One of the funniest parts of Pokemon happens in that episode, which is the uh, part where James gets his Magikarp and then tries to use it to swim. And of course, Magikarp can only do Splash, so it's literally useless. Very funny, though. I don't know, I keep, like, spam clicking Mega Punch. I should just be doing Water Pulse because it would just instantly kill it. There we go. Another ground lift. Yep, gonna have to do the bait and switch. Yeah, I can still gain too much experience from that, but he gained a fair amount. I don't want to type back, it's one moves to the air. Wrap, poison sting, lay, and bite. That's not too bad. I mean, bite's good, at least. Water L. Ow. Rude. Actually, remember to use water pulse that time. Yay! And that's just stupid grabs. Although annoyingly, I would like a grab, but of course I can't because I'm doing the avatar challenge, which is annoying. So I really like ground. It's, what, it's easily my favorite fire type, actually. So you know, it's unfortunate that I can't have one, but I must obey the rules. And it was, you know, have a grab or have a scroll. And Blastoise being my favorite water type and one of and my favorite star. And on top of that, being in my favourite, like, top ten, you know, I kind of had to go for Squirrel. I mean, it's also missing out, means I'm missing out on Cypher, who's my, uh, actual favourite Pokemon of all time. It's unfortunate. Another battle. I don't remember where you have to go in this, but I'm trying to just get as many trainer battles in as I can so I can level Ekans a bit. You need a random mail, and yet you haven't evolved it, alright? Let's just test water, shall we? Ooh, that did a lot. I didn't do too badly, though. Screw it, switch to Nidoking. Yeah, Nidoking. Ow. Ow. I did nothing. Let's see what a real move looks like, Peck. Peck, I think, is the best move to use against Nidoran because. Double kick won't do too much, and um, actually it might do. Poison I know Poison Sting won't do anything. Okay, now Peck is better. Didn't think that would do too much, but it was worth a test. This one tells you what it means to evolve Pokemon. I may only be two levels higher, but I'm also two evolved states higher. And I just took nothing. Oh, so we've got a bait and switch Ekans battle. Ek again! 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Nidoran female is the defense bulky one. And it's actually doing quite a lot of damage, which is upsetting. Also, I believe at some point during the SSM we have to fight our rival and then watch as his racket never returns, which is of course created a lot of uh, theories that his racket actually dies on the SSM. So, you know, I'll have to live with that later. I'm not a waiter. I don't even look like a waiter. What is your deal? I'm also checking all the rooms because I know there's uh, items in some of them. Not in here, but yeah, I know there are items in some rooms. I'm looking for them for that precise reason. Damn it. I mean, I'm going to fight both of them, but... I was trying to see if I could double battle them. I don't even know if double battle battling is in Fire Red. It might be. Man, it ran level 21. You didn't evolve it. Nice. Gonna have to be water. Because I would go for Gloom due to the ground part, but... Unfortunately, Ramel is not ground yet. He gains the ground ability, I believe, once he becomes a Nidor King. Otherwise, he's like... Poison fighting. No poison sting you. Right, finish it with Mega Punch, I think. That should kill it. I can't see why it wouldn't. There we go. Ooh, Brick Break. That would be good for Nidder King. I'm going to teach that Nidder King right now. Yeah, digs are ground. Let's see what else we've got. Rock Tomb isn't awful. Yeah, I'm probably going to teach him Rock Tomb as well, because it's like a decent move. Yeah, I thought Nidic can be the only one, because I mean, he's the only one who's clearly physically big enough to throw rocks at people. I'm just going to the number. 15, 35, nothing, 30, 50. Better. I'll get rid of Peck. I don't really need Peck on him. He can't really use Peck too much. I mean, some would say keep it, because it helps deal with grass types. Because, of course, he's not great against Grand types. But Poison will do that anyway. If I get a decent move for it. Oh, we'll talk about it as well. But yeah, I want to teach him Nidor King. I was say, Nidor King is a very physically bulky Pokemon. And I need moves for him. I don't like Focus Energy. I'll get rid of that. I mean, I like Double Kick, but... Brick Break will be useful also. Because Brick Break can break through, like... Walls if anyone tries to set them up. That's always useful. And we just have decent moves on him for once, which is good. Another fight. From all around the world. So if you've gone all around the world, you should have some Pokemon from other series. No, you just have Pidgeys. Well, there goes that notion. Ooh, that does a lot. Okay, I can you're leaving the battle. We might want to do a bit more of it now. I'm gonna go for Nidder King. Let's test out some of his new moves. Particularly Rock Tomb. That'd be good for this fight. Oh great, that's gonna lower that the accuracy of Rock Tomb from 80 to bugger all. Oh, it's still here anyway, sweet. Thank you, bro. Yeah, because level 15. Also, guys, uh, don't forget to check out my other videos. Just gonna get that in there now. Because uh, I recently did the ALS bucket challenge. So if you want to see me, you know, pour ice over my head and look like an idiot, then, you know, that's available there. And it's for charity, so, you know, there are links in that video as well to, you know, donate to charity if you want. So, you know, it's, it's good for a good cause. I don't usually do, like, shoutouts to my own videos, but I think since it's for charity, it's fine. I can't see anybody, like, being annoyed at me, to, like, throwing out sponsors to my charity vid. Why did I go for another fighting move? I didn't do anything. Oh, the moose! I've dropped the moose. By that, I mean mouse. Bend over, which kind of ruined the voice on that. Right. I guess Rock Tomb. Oh, it's actually hitting. Hooray. That worked. Well, Nidoking's new moves work well, at least. 
time the fighting was, but that was because it was... Yeah, there we go, see, I told you. I knew we learned Thrash early. Yeah, see, look at that, 90 damage. I mean, of course, then he gets confused, but... Very, very stronger than double kicks. Double kick can only hit twice, so I'll get rid of double kick. Because double kick, even attacking twice only does, it does alright, but it's not the best thing ever. Brick Break's a lot more useful, I think. And also, Frash is just a strong move. Frash is definitely going to help against Electric, guys, because Electric Pokemon aren't that physically bulky. So Frash should just run for them. I mean, yeah, I'll get confused, but I can always switch out if needs be. Also, it should help in the fight against Gary. I mean, that's another use for it, you know. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Go back in there. I believe there's a, one of the trash cans has a great ball in it. Petra Berry. Cherry Berry. Oh no, I remember now. Uh, in this game they added berries. Oh no, there's the Great Ball. I thought they, for a second they got rid of the Great Ball because originally you find it in one of the bins, but of course with berries added to the game it makes more sense that berries would be in the bin. I forget which way. Do you go down or do you go up? You go up. Luckily, I don't need to fight everyone on the s -Sand. I don't plan on fighting everyone on the s because that would take far too long. Ah, go up. There we go. Let's just check some of these rooms for items. Uh, how have you never seen a Snorlax before? You've gone around the world and you haven't seen a Snorlax. Considering I'm going to see, like... I think it's two or three, just on this adventure, you know. Well, there's nightmare, I want it. Don't want to fight all the trainers, but hey, I am got to take it. Right, you should be a water trainer, so this should be some ideal experience for Bloom. You know? Yeah, he is. Like I said, Ekans is only annoyingly going to get, like, tiny bits of experience, because I'm not always going to be switching him out. Only be for like the first fight of the battle, probably. Mainly. Mainly because I can't be bothered to switch all the time, unfortunately. Ball of Seed. Okay, that does quite a lot. Which is good. I would like Loom to learn a decent uh, grass move, would be nice. I mean, Absorb and Bullet Seed are okay, but I want to learn stuff like Mega Drain or Giga Drain. Or, you know, well, not necessarily Solar Beam, but like Petal Dance and that stuff. Although I think Petal Plant, Petal Plant, Petal Dance comes naturally as a Vital Plume, so I've got to get Plume the Vital Plume. Ideally. Yeah, I'm just going to leave Bloom in and let Bloom gain the experience from these guys. Right, Bullacy, can you do more than two this time, hopefully? Bullacid. Oh yeah, I forgot he's part poison, which gives him like a neutral to grass. Well, don't that just suck? Well, at least Bullacy just hitting a lot. I mean, four times is not bad. Might as well just keep using it because I haven't got much else. Luckily, poison doesn't do too much because, of course, Bloom is poison grass. Which is quite useful. Come on, hit a bit more. Hit him more. More. There we go. Oh, if he lived down like a tiny percent, I would have been so pissed off. Uh, Goldie and stay in. I'll use Absorb actually, get my stats back. Yeah. Also, should. Well, okay, that is a lot. That works. Horn attack, okay. I'm just gonna absorb you again. If you don't mind. Yay, Gloom leveled, awesome. Fisherman Dale. Next fight. I just want the item. Can't you just let me have the item and then let me leave? Because that would be super. Pikachu? Oh god, it's level 23. Well, I know whose job this is for. Uh, actually, do I want to... Yeah. As much as I don't want to give Nidicum too much experience before we get to the surge, because he'll have to just one-shot the gym by himself. I kind of, you know, have to. I ain't got much else to use on electric types. Frash! I'm really angry. 
Oh, how did you live? Take it again. Stupid Pikachu. No, I'm paralyzed. Oh, okay, doesn't matter. Sweet. Ooh, Stardust. Which reminds me, what the hell's going on with Stardust and Goldust? They never seem to be doing anything. One day they're losing to Slater Gator, then they're winning against the Usos. It's like, are you going to push these guys or not? Yeah, I know, I'm trying to get cut. I'm in the middle of doing it, bro. Thanks for sharing, though. Sharing is caring. Right, can you double battle in this game? I'm about to find out. No, is the answer. Which is weird, because I thought they added double battling by this point in the game, but I guess they didn't. I can't remember all the Pokemon games now just kind of melt together. Is what I found. Which reminds me, so far, the, uh... Omega, Ruby, and I think the I think it's like Alpha Sapphire. I can't remember. Look really solid. I must say, I'm I'm personally just a huge fan of cosplay Pikachu because I recently got into cosplaying, which makes me like it anyway. And on top of that, one of them's a wrestler, and it does body slam. It's the best thing ever. I'm about to put a link to wrestler Pikachu in the description, just so you guys can see how awesome it is. Okay, it's fight. I'm staying in. But seriously, Wrestler Pikachu, so good. Jimmy can't make it make a uh, Raichu cosplay as well. Because then of course it would be a stronger cosplay. Wow, I know why they've chosen Pikachu because it's cute, pretty much. I hope I can walk over that chair once I lose the item, that would suck. Oh no, a Rotata. Switchy, switchy. I think Nidoking's King's gonna have to deal with this again. Oh, I could have gone the Gloom Battle. As I've said before, rat Rattatas and Raticates can be quite dangerous if you're not careful. Like, you know, one well done Hyper Fan can really muck you up. It appears that he's trying to set it up on me anyway, so. Crash! Yeah, you tell 90 damage. You tell 90 damage, you die. Ooh, 16. Awesome. No, I'm staying in. Pikachu can't do anything to Nidoking, King, other than static it, which is what happened last time. You just tell what you want, your quick attack still won't do much. Especially when I'm still thrashing. Get out. See, that's the ideal way to use thrash, like that, where thrash kills them and then it ends, because then you don't have to worry about the confuse at all. Cool, I can walk on the chair, hooray. Man, I was hoping there was something better than that, but okay, I guess. Please tell me there's a healer nearby. You think the Safari Zone is awesome? How would I have gone to the Safari Zone? Yeah, I haven't even got anywhere near that gym. Area. Remembering now there's more in that thing than just a gym. Yes, yeah, Henry C6. He's the guy I need to pick up. Here we go. And this guy being a jerk as always. Now time to make his Raticate die. And I mean literally. Because you never see it again. See secretly, Pokemon totally condones animal murder, obviously. Of course it actually doesn't. Yeah. I'm almost used. I'm guessing Rock Tomb, hopefully. God damn it, there came. Do I think to do my bag to fix him? Yeah. That would be risky. I'll slam taggy jump. Oh, no, I'll do switch to water, we'll screw it. Actually, just thinking, what the hell am I going to do when this um, grass type turns up? Hmm. I think it's something. Ow. Rude. That's Pidgeot we dealt with. Walking into level. Good. 
No, I don't use my rapid spin. It sucks. It's only good in like actual battles. But I'm not doing any of those. And Gloom doesn't do anything to it. Wartal doesn't do anything. Yeah, my whole team is weak to this one though. I'm gonna have to leave Wartal in and just hope for the best. I hope I hit first. Mega Punch! Please kill, it probably won't kill the left right. No. Sleep pad, alright. I'm gonna use this opportunity, I think, to heal Nidoking. Okay, now I don't have any potions. There's that idea. And we'll sort of wake up. But no, I didn't just do that in the first place. There goes Warthog. You have to go with Gloom, I think. And just slowly whittle him down. Wow, this obviously sort of like spam and sleep pattern, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay, that doesn't do much. He's trying to see just more than that. Uh, well, not really. It's the shot monster. But I'm gonna have to. The only way I can kill Ivy is on. Why well, I say kill, I mean, I mean faint, of course. But this could take forever. Right, because I don't want to put you guys through this, I will skip the end of being Ivy Soul because this is gonna take forever. Finally! God, that fight was awkward. Especially when he kept spamming freaking sleep stuff. Who has bite? Ekans has bite, but fuck it, let's try. Ekans is the only thing that has it bite, and I think bite's a dark move at this point in the game. Only two levels. Yeah, it is dark, of course, though. So. Live it. Well, there goes that. I forgot about the whole poison psyche thing. Damn you, Ekans. I guess it's Nidic King time, I suppose. Crash, I guess. I got my channels. Yeah, that worked. But Nidic King is going to be so over leveled. I'll leave Nidic King in. And it's the Eradicate that never comes back. Probably did that, but alright. I'm the switch. All right, let's eradicate down. Right, there we go, that's... Also, wait, you said he caught 40 types, why does he only have 5 guys on his team? Doesn't really make any sense. We're standing to 4 now because of Raticate, but you know. He gets more though, of course. As he should do. Right, the captain. I like how Mr. Pokemon said noise, which makes no sense. Yeah, just give me cut, come on. There we go. No idea to teach Cut, I'm probably gonna teach it to Rattata because it's just there and isn't useful at all. Let's just check that. Oh, you. Oh, here we go. Cut. Um, good, Rattata can learn it. Because it means I have to waste one of my actual good Pokemon for it, which would be annoying because Cut isn't a very good move. Cut is easily one of the worst TMs. Well, HMs in terms of like actual stats for a move. Right, let's get out of here.
sorry about that Skype message, but eh, it happens. Sometimes recordings have issues, and eh, maybe this is one of those times. Right, let's go heal, I think, and then... Do you if I surge this episode? I will decide momentarily. Right, I'm gonna end it there. A bit shorter than some of the episodes, but, you know, after that long hour long grind through Mount Moon and the Cerulean stuff, I think it's time these episodes got, like, bagged to sort of half hour area. So, yeah, we. Well, I've dealt with the SSN, and uh, tune in next episode for when we battle the Electric Master, Lieutenant Surge. Thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.